This month on The Card Life, presented by Loop. Interested in opening a pack of baseball cards? How many autographs through the mail have you gotten, roughly? Easily a couple thousand. thousand. I decided that I think it'd be a fun idea to start an after-school club about collecting cards. My wife told me I have to move some of the stuff somewhere, so I said I'm going to open up a card store. I'm never going to hold a better card, and if someone tells me I did, I'm going to tell them that they're wrong. Welcome to season two of The Card Life. I'm your host, Matt Strom. It's a new season and I'm in a new city. So of course we had to do the first episode right here in Boston. This month, I'll attempt to make some friends by giving out some free packs of cards. We'll visit with a lifelong Boston sports fan about through the mail collecting, including some tips how to do it yourself. We'll visit George Pep's baseball cards and rip some wax and give you an up close look at an epic card from Formula One. We'll also head to Eau Claire, Wisconsin, where students have embraced the hobby as part of an after-school program. Let's kick things off here in Boston by making some friends. I got an awesome bag here full of cards and see if we can get some hits. So if you just reach in there, random pack, there are three basketball packs in there, so you might get a basketball, then you reach one. So you got 2016 Top Series 2. And then you got football. All righty, let's see what you guys get. When's the last time you opened baseball cards? Never. Uh, never? never? First pack. First, first pack yeah, ever. Right on. Yeah, let's awesome. see. Hey, that's cool. Yeah. Awesome. That's really cool. No more. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's a cool one. But that's 2011, so that's Chris Sale's rookie year. All right. All so right. you got a chance at a Chris Sale rookie card in there. What you got here? What's this one? You got a diamond under there. Oh, okay. Nice. There we go, that's a cool insert. Well, you got basketball. Let's see if you can hit a jaw or a Zion. Hey, that was really cool. Zion, rookie card, marquee. Nice. Sweet. When's the last time you opened cards? I've got lots of cards. Yo, yeah, so do I. Bo Diaz, Lee Smith. Hey, that's, oh, that's a good a one. Card. That's a rookie card of Lee Smith right there. That's really cool. Tribes. Getting tribes on the way to the field here before he, uh, he goes in to warm up. Just grab a random pack. It might be basketball, though. That's all right. We got two and two left. What do we got here? Hey, 2017, so here we go. judge, rookie, When's the last time you opened cards? Never. Never? Here we go, first one. Because I'm not in them. You're not into them? Hey, you'll <laughs> no, be in I them this I'm year. Not in I know, you'll be in them this year, hopefully. <laughs> no, I'm Bregman? joking. Hey, Bregman, rookie, that's a big one. Oh, what's RC mean? It's his rookie card. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that, that's one of the bigger hits in that, in that class, that rookie class. Posey or Frack? Hey, oh, Chris Sale, 150. That's a good one. That is sick, and we're gonna get him to sign it later. Awesome. This is Shribe's first card, first hit. <laughs> the GOAT. Yes. That is sick, what else we got? Seeger. And Stanton. Stanton. That one, yeah. Dude, that is so sick that you That's just hit sweet. sale to yeah. 150. <laughs> and he'll be here in a few weeks and you can have him sign it, that'd be so sick. I know, I'm excited to see him. There it is. Up next, a visit to George Pep's baseball cards in nearby Quincy. Why bother with empty shelves at retail stores? Waiting three days for a break to fill or driving across town to find out your hobby shop closed at four when you always have a card show in your pocket. With Loop, you can instantly buy cards, packs, boxes, or into auctions with the click of a button and do it all while chatting with some of the best personalities and the best community in the hobby. Download the Loop app now on iOS or Android. Loop, a card show in your pocket. Loop is proud to be the presenting sponsor of The Card Life. Here are some of the best break hits from the last month. Ultimate Warrior, 101. Oh my God, dude. Wow. 101, Luca. You are kidding me, dude. 
No way. Join the Loop community now by downloading the app on iOS or Android. Loop, a card show in your pocket. In 1991, at the tender young age of 20, George Pep opened Franklin Sports Cards in Quincy, Massachusetts, about 15 miles south of Fenway Park. That was 1990. I told my dad that I'm gonna open up a card store and he said, what is a card store? It was a little disorganized and I did not know what I was doing. I ran that for about five years. And then my brother Tom and I decided to open up our second card store, which was called Sports Memories. From 1998 to 2003. In between all this stuff, I was running bars and restaurants that I personally owned. The pandemic hit a few years ago, I decided not to open up my last place, and I decided to open up a card store again. And George Pep's baseball cards and more. I'd probably say about 50% is still basically mine that I've had over the years. My inventory is so large. My wife told me I have to move some of the stuff somewhere, so I said I'm going to open up a card store. Local sports is always bigger. People always want the current hot player that's in their hometown. It's just something to do. You meet people. It's, it's your own thing, and you get to talk to people about it. 2020 Bowman. Nice. Bobby Witt Jr. Yep, love that guy. And then I'll rip the, let's do the 21 Jumbo. We can go for Marcel Myers. Yep. And then we'll do the 16 Topps Chrome. Nice. We got those Tatum rookie packs too, right? Yep, let me bring them over to you. I have a 86-87 basketball pack with Jordan. <laughs> I'm not opening that. Let's do the 2020 update value pack too. Awesome. And I think that'll be, that'll make a good rip, don't you think? Oh, this yeah. is gonna be great. Sweet. We'll see what I pulled from George Peps later in the show, but first we leave Boston and head to Eau Claire, Wisconsin, where students at South Middle School have embraced the hobby as part of an after-school program. I've been a collector most of my life. As a kid, I loved baseball cards, football cards. And once I went through college, I sold my collection, got out of cards. But being back in school with kids, I realized that that's when I started collecting was when I met friends in junior high. And I decided that I think it'd be a fun idea to start an after school club about collecting cards. We had 10 kids at the beginning, and now we're up to 24 kids that just come in once a week on Mondays and we talk about cards and collect. This bag. The biggest thing is, you know, trading is a time when you get to talk with other collectors and your other friends, and it's a fun time. Do you have to trade? No, no, you don't have to trade. You know, it's a good time just to walk around and share. Oh, this is not for sale either. <laughs> Brian came into the shops and he's like, man, I'm a teacher at South and I would love to find a way to do something for the kids. And we had uh, a couple conversations, and, and like I said, he he had said, oh, we'll have you in as a guest speaker. And then he called me and said, hey, I got you slated for the next seven weeks. So uh, it's been a lot of fun to see the kids joy and, and bring them together and nurture their love of the hobby and, and just uh, share that joy and the love that I had when I was 12 years old. Raise your hand if you want the LeBron rookie. Eight, seven, nine. Well, Ethan. <laughs> there you go, buddy. <laughs> it's amazing how many friendships have been formed from this class. We do a, a trading part where we talk about, you know, fair trading with each other and kids get a chance to trade. We talk about fairness, we talk about respect, we talk about a lot of things that, you know, kids need going through middle school is, you know, how just to, you know, form friendships with people that have common interests with you. One of your classmates um, decided to do something pretty remarkable. So Sophia has boxes of flux. Each of you is going to get a pack from her for free. Come on, let's give her a round of applause. That is. We do a thing called a hit draft where kids have to pick one card that they're willing to give up and put in a draft. And then we randomize the order and the kids get to come back and pick cards based on what the kids gave and what we have on the back. Cards are a vessel to get people together and to spread joy and love. And the joy that you see in these kids' face is undefeated. You know, it's, it's just an amazing thing. And if we nurture it properly, the hobby will grow. But also, these kids just need it. They need the love and the inspiration. So it's, it's a lot of fun. And this class, obviously, too, has brought a lot of kids 
out of the woodwork that are maybe thinking about collecting and now I've got some kids that start off with zero cards and they're sitting with 20, 30, 40 cards and just loving it. And I think it's the atmosphere that we have at this class too is just phenomenal. And the kids just love being together and love talking about it. And now after this class, I'm hoping that they, you know, the friendships continue and they continue to grow their collections and enjoy the hobby. PristineAuction.com, it's baseball stuff, it's basketball, it's wrestling, it's Marvel stuff. Tatis, Patrick Mahomes, Wayne Gretzky, LeBron James, autographed Annika Adidas jersey, Mookie Betts, Muhammad Ali. Personal favorite thing on the site are the 10 minute auctions. You can bid on the item for only 10 minutes. Highest bidder wins. It's free to register, free to bid. Sign up today, PristineAuction.com. Pristine Auction is a proud sponsor of The Card Life. Head over to pristineauction.com where over 10,000 sports card auctions end every week. Jeff Baker grew up in Peabody, Massachusetts, where a love of collecting was embedded at a young age. His father bought him his first pack of cards in 1972, and his collection now numbers over 100,000 cards. One passion of Jeff's collection is obtaining autographed cards through the mail, otherwise known as TTM. He's hosted the TTM Cast, a podcast about everything in the sports card hobby since 2019, and now also hosts the Sports Collectors Club, a radio show syndicated on over 100 stations across the United States on Sunday mornings. Jeff is going to provide us some background on TTM collecting and some tips and tricks for doing it successfully. How do you start with finding addresses for these through the mail autographs? You know what, the best part about through the mail or TTMing is the community. Okay. There's a lot of information out there online. There's two major sites to go to to get addresses. One is called Sports Card Forum. It's sportscardforum.com, and that's free. All you have to do is just go and join, and right. you, you, you can find addresses and Sweet. find out who's signing. Or you can go to uh, sportscollectors.net, which is $15 a year. It's a little more organized. There's a little more people in the group. And uh, they have the addresses as well. And what one what of the nice things about it is you find out who's signing, yeah, how much they charge. Okay. A lot of guys ask for donations now. Okay. And uh, their ha signing habits, because uh, it's cyclical. You know, sometimes yep. guys will sign and then they'll just stop signing for one yep. reason or another. So I, I always check those two sites to see the guys' signing habits before I send mm -hmm. something out. How many autographs through the mail have you gotten roughly? Uh, a couple thousand, easily couple a couple thousand. thousand. Yeah, I've done all all four major sports as well as uh, a bunch of celebrities as well. I, uh, okay. I I really was was into autograph collecting when I was younger, when I was in high school, and then um, I stopped, like everyone does. And yep. I had all, yep. I, but I still collected cards, and I ha had all these cards. I have over a hundred thousand cards, uh, and I was just one day I was like, what am I going to do with all these cards? And right. what, what am I? friends that uh, was collecting autographs and I was like, I loved collecting autographs yeah. and I do that again so about five years ago I started again and uh, now I try to send out about 10 a week okay what's the big one you're waiting on that you, you know what I, I just got I'm so excited the two guys I was waiting on I Orlando Cepeda okay I just got him back last week I've been waiting for him forever I sent one off and I, it didn't come back and I tried it again and I got a 1966 uh, tops okay. Orlando Cepeda card signed I was very excited about that and then I just got Kel Kellen Winslow senior I got his rookie card uh, it was a 1980 top 81 tops card and I got him to sign that and I was so thrilled to get oh, that one I bet back. I bet do you have any uh, advice to people who want to get started with through the mail? You want to make sure you have a self-addressed stamped envelope. Put your card inside some type of protection, either a penny sleeve mm -hmm. or top loader or something. I like to do it. Keep your letter short, okay. one page. Make it personal. If you can handwrite it, that's great. Also, be truthful. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I know people are out there selling, and I'm sure yep. you as an athlete oh, yeah. get asked all the time, be truthful. If, if you're, you're collecting one for you and one for a friend, that's yep. great. If send a, only send, I only send no more than two cards. I never send more than two cards. I, I don't want to be greedy. Right. Uh, be respectful, and never, ever, ever send anything that you don't want to get lo loose. Yeah. Because I even now I get... 70% return. Right. I have a lot of cards out there that yeah. may or may not come back. Yeah. Collect what you love and don't worry about the value. I collect guys that I like and I collect the teams that I love. Yep. And then 
you know, I haven't. I've never sold anything. Honestly, I've never. Really? I don't think I've ever sold one card. I have really? more than a hundred thousand cards. Dang, that is crazy. <laughs> so is crazy. I, they'll, they'll go to my kids one day. I would have to say right off the bat, my favorite one's the Maris. Yeah, the oh, Roger wow. Maris. That's a 1967 card, and I sent that off when I was a kid in in the 80s. I wrote a paper for the National History Essay Contest, and uh, I asked the, all these guys, Ted Williams, Where which is, is over there, uh, right to here. compare their day in, in, uh, to the oh, current athletes. Here. And uh, Roger Maris sent the card back, so I sent the cards the cards out through TTM. That is cool. This is funny. Ted didn't think there was uh, much change in the pitchers from the time he left the game. <laughs> Ted, Ted did not. <laughs> well, I don't see, but yeah. <laughs> well, step in the box, Ted. I'll show you the new pitchers. <laughs> I love how some of them are signed in pen. Yeah, the older guys. You know, some of the older guys. Oh, These are kind of neat because they're multiple so you have to sign yeah. to three different guys. This card's very very special to me. When I was seven years old my dad uh, bought me my first pack of ba uh, baseball cards. Brought a pack home for me and uh, I remember sitting at the kitchen table opening the pack with him and this is like the fourth or fifth card in the pack. This exact card. This card. Yeah. 1970. Not, not a replaced not a card. The actual card, card opened by and you. I've had it all these sweet. years and I always cherished it and I don't know what came over me one day. I said, I'm going to get it signed because I saw somebody was, had one of them signed. And I said, I'm going to get them signed because I really love TTM. And I think it would be great to have in the collection and pass it on to my kids. Right. So I sent it off to Cecil Cooper in Texas first, and he, he signed it pretty quickly. And then I sent it to Mike Garman, who I loved as a pitcher. Yeah. I always loved him as a pitcher. I'm so, I'm so bumming when he got traded. And he, he was a really quick turnaround, maybe like a week. So I got them, both of them signed, and then said, oh, we'll send it down to Colin Fisk, he's in Florida. He collects money for cancer, so I don't yeah. mind doing giving a donation. Right. And he signed it, and then it came back, and I was just so thrilled. Bill Belichick is really a great friend of the hobby. He's a great TTMer. I yeah. actually got him in between a wild card game and a division game. There was a week off in there for some reason. And I sent it to him that the week not realizing it, and he, I got it back in like three days. It was awesome. unbelievable. And I'm a huge Patriots fan, and it was just so, I was thrilled to get that back. Some of the guys that you would think would be the meanest guys are the greatest guys in terms of <laughs> signing autographs. I know, like, I know Jim Rice had a, a reputation of not being a, a very friendly guy, but through the mail, he's outstanding. So there are a lot of guys like that. Why bother with empty shelves at retail stores? Waiting three days for a break to fill or driving across town to find out your hobby shop closed at four when you always have a card show in your pocket. With Loop, you can instantly buy cards, packs, boxes, or into auctions with the click of a button and do it all while chatting with some of the best personalities and the best community in the hobby. Download the Loop app now on iOS or Android. Loop, a card show in your pocket. Tired of paying 10%, 15% or more to sell your cards, comics and digital collectibles? How does 1% sound? Too good to be true? Well, not anymore. MySlabs.com is the web's premier user-driven marketplace for buying and selling slabbed cards, sealed wax and now slabbed comics and digital collectibles. So the next time you're forced to pay 10% or more to sell something from your collection, head over to MySlabs.com and join the 1% revolution. One of the fastest growing sports in the U.S. and one of the fastest growing cards in the hobby are F1. Our friends at Loop recently had the Miami Grand Prix and had a pretty cool card stop by their shop. Well, we're here at Loop HQ. I've got Buffy from Buffs Breaks with me. He's kind of our F1 instant expert. And uh, first of all, how you doing? Oh my, well, great day. Uh, what we're talking about today, it's, it's amazing. Absolutely. Yeah, no, we've got a piece of history here. I mean, you're chomping at the bit. You were, as soon as he knew this was coming into the shop, he was blown away and excited. Couldn't book my ticket fast enough. Yeah, what, what do we have here? So, you wanna, you wanna talk about the card? Yeah, yeah, this is amazing. Um, right here in front of us, we have the 2020 Topps Chrome Formula One Lewis Hamilton Super Fractor Autograph, freshly graded from PSA. Topps Chrome here is the premier brand that Topps makes for all of their products. Okay. Um, it was introduced in baseball, actually, in 1996, and since that time, it's slowly progressed to become the most iconic brand that Topps produces, and this, this here is the uh, the autograph Superfractor version. Superfractor, for those that don't know, what 
what's the super fractor? Yeah, so a super fractor. When did that begin? Yeah. So super fractors were actually introduced in 2004, 2005 in uh, finest basketball. Okay. Um, they started putting them out in their 2005 sets for the first time. And the super fractor itself, um, what makes it so desirable outside of the fact that it's the only copy in the world, they make one. One is it's known for its gold designs in the background of the card. They okay. have these gold swirls that are just known in the card community. If you see that peeking out of your pack, you know you've got a super fractor. There's nothing else that it could be. That's and unbelievable. The heart starts pumping because you know that there's so a chance. Instant recognition. Yeah. You, you know, know something yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. You know that there's a chance it's something like this, something life changing, like sitting a couple cards down just waiting for you to unveil it. So it's as good as it gets. It's top of the line. This one here that we have in front of us actually having to be the premier item with an autograph, premier brand from the first year of Formula One. Um, with a major manufacturer. And, I mean, it's, it's Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton. Yeah, right, exactly. Every record in Formula One, Lewis Hamilton owns it. Right. You know? So we've got we've got it's, the top of the top in F1 on the most premier card, the the rarest, the most unbelievable find, yeah. making this absolutely yeah. incredible. Top brand, top card, top driver. It just doesn't get any better. This is it. There's there's nothing better than this right here. I've been doing cards my whole life and this is the kind of stuff when I was a kid I would have like like dreams about you know holding stuff like this yeah. and pulling stuff like this. So this thankful. This is the top. So thankful. This is like, it. This is, <laughs> I'm never gonna hold a better card and if someone tells me I did I'm gonna tell them that they're wrong. I don't have to know anything about F1 to know that that's a sick card. Oh my goodness that is a Tom Brady autograph. Oh, oh my, one of one diamond Lamella Ball rookie. That's a hit. Wow, that's a big card, guys. Oh, quarterback Joey Burrow. Yes, please, out of the first box. Oh, oh sick. Mike Trout, on card autograph 9.5, autograph grade 10. Alrighty, today we got just a little mixture break. We got some basketball, baseball, and football. A little mixture of all the years as well. So uh, just get into it and see what we get. Will to win Bo Jackson. It's just like one of those fat head ones. <laughs> Touchdown Nick Chubbs. Or like his head's bigger, kind of <laughs> weird. Got a Mac Jones rookie, that's cool. We got a 2020 Topps Chrome update. Alrighty, then we got Jordan Alvarez. That's the other rookie in here. That's a pretty good one. We got Alec Mills. This uh, He's actually, I was the 21st round pick for the Royals. He was the 22nd round. And then we had Tommy John together too. So it's kind of a cool card. And a Pink Cy Sneed, who actually his older brother Zeb Sneed was my first Pro Bowl rook, uh, roommate. <laughs> That's stories for all the cards. Look for Marcel Meyer right now. And Tyler McDono, not the Red Sox we were looking for, but a Red Sox. Third rounder. 75th overall. That's not bad. Bednar. Rosario, there we go, Marcel Meyer. Marcel Meyer. 1920, so that's John Zion. Malcolm Brogdon and Zion Williamson. There we go. Very nice. Right on. That's it for the show this month. I'm Matt Strom. We'll see you next month on The Card Life presented by Luke.